All right, and if you're looking for some free breakfast this morning, St. Anthony is the place to be. There's still plenty of time to make it out there. Local News aide Seth Ratliff is live. Seth, good morning. <laughs> Hello everyone, we are at the Fisherman's Breakfast in St. Anthony where people are lined up around the block for breakfast. There are pancakes, hash browns, and bacon and sausage here. You can smell everything as we're walking through. This is the kitchen where they're preparing everything and this has been going on for a long time. It's a tra tradition here in St. Anthony and you can see why. People are so excited to get their breakfast here. This is all for free and it goes from today at 6 a.m. till about 2 p.m. And there are so many people here gathered in the park in over here lined up just because they're so excited for breakfast and honestly it just smells delicious while we're here we're actually joined now here at the end by a friend of ours Brett Macker who looks to be serving some people right now but we're gonna try to catch his eye real quick so excuse me guys hey Brett hey, how are you? doing very well so this is Brett Macker one of the organizers of the event and Brett we wanted to ask what does this event mean for St. Anthony and for the people around here who gather so this has been something that's been going on for 66 years it's one of the big events we have here in St. Anthony every year the opening of fishing season getting people to come out and just enjoy each other's company and camaraderie and it's just a real special time here in St. Anthony you mentioned 66 years that this has been going on? 66 full years that this has been going on. We did take two years off for COVID, but it's 66 years this year that we were celebrating this. So. Can you tell us a little bit of the history of the event, how that started? So it started back 66 years ago with uh, US 20 went through Main Street of St. Anthony. And what they attempted to do back then was get people to stop going through St. Anthony on their way to Island Park to go fishing. So it started with a cup of coffee and a donut, and this is what it's evolved to. How many people love what it's evolved into? Uh, the biggest we've ever had was about 12,000 people in one day. That was a year we did it from 6 to 6. Uh, this year we'll see between probably just over 4,000 people is what we'll see today. So 4,000 people around here to enjoy breakfast, to be out in St. Anthony. You still have time to come out and enjoy. The breakfast is free. It goes until 2 p.m. in St. Anthony. I'm Seth Ratlin. Back to you, Emma. Awesome. Thanks so much, Seth. Hey, be sure to bring us some pancakes back. Yeah, once again, it's a free event. It runs until 2 p.m. at Kiefer's Park in St. Anthony. Can we see the food? Can we go back to the show? Seth, can you show us the food? I want to see the pancakes and the sausage and the hash browns. Can we go back we to the live them? shot of the food and then we, we can, can see? Can we go see the food? Can you show, show us the food, Cameron and, and Seth? Take Seth, it. what do they have there? Let's what kind of food? Show us the food. Show us the food. Okay, the food around here. Well, the food looks delicious. We have syrup over here. If we're going to walk through, we got more people over here with their plates. The plate. As you can yeah. see, we got sausage, pancakes, hash browns. Some people pile it on top Get as well as others. There. They're loading up the hash browns over here, and those it. just look golden brown and delicious. Do you look at that it. syrup oh, and butter? Baby. Everything yeah. around here oh, just baby. looks so delicious to have no, no. and to be able to go and to eat. And with that, we are still going to be here until 2 o'clock. Okay. Everything no, here is not. set up. And in St. Okay. Anthony.